I have a sad story. Two pubs a day are disappearing from the cities, villages, towns. Quite frankly, that's a, a rather an alarming rate, don't you say? Well, yeah, these people, they all like pun. No, for far too long, we have seen the destruction of uh, our community pubs and the culture and society that they support. Now, Norwich, for instance, my home city, well, it used to be known for having a pub for every single day of the year. <laughs> well, in 1884, there was even 600 pubs. Blimey, they must have all been alcoholics. But I suppose the alcohol back then, the pint, was only between 2 and 3%. Not like here in France, between 6 and 8%. In fact, you get 22% beer. <laughs> anyway, today in Norwich, Norfolk, only 130 uh, pubs have survived. That neck hold of business rates, inflation, energy costs, etc. And increased alcohol duty, says oh, Richie Sunak's latest and policy came into fruition, I think it was last July. Now, what's happened as a result is pub goers have decided to give up on their pubs and they're taking refuge in, I don't know, arguments say go Tesco's um, booze aisles. Yeah, and white lighting inside, in brown paper bags. Well, in Norfolk, seven pubs have already closed their doors this year and more on the brink. But this picture that I paint is not just confined to my home city, Norwich, no. The trend is that's sweeping right across England. Yeah. And if they're not being burnt and bulldozed like the crooked pub by crooked owners, yeah. Well, they're not viable anymore in the current economic climate. And they're being sold off for conversion into student accommodation. And maybe the occasional illicit brothel, maybe. Well, nearly 400 pubs have closed their doors already in England and Wales for the first half of 2023 this year. That's almost as many as the whole of 2022. Blind me. So what's it gonna be, six, 800 pubs just gone? You see, they support communities, they're mean grounds, they're places for people to go. You see, since the pandemic and obviously Brexit putting the cross of everything up, well, and lockdowns, people aren't venturing out as they once did. I don't want to get COVID, no. So, what's happening is campaigners, they want to see the planning laws change. You can't just convert that ex-pub into a brothel. <laughs> well, that ain't going to happen, is it? No. They're not going to do anything responsible to save the village pub. Why would they? <sighs> well, with energy costs up 80-odd percent year on year, and, well, low growth, high inflation, high interest rates, and the environment that we, well, we're now worrying about the additional costs that might be imposed on people because of that. What choice have we got? We've got to do something. Now, after, like I say, Sunak's lunatic uh, alcohol budget, but breweries are lowering the alcohol to benefit a lower alcohol duty on beer. For instance, Foster's, well, reducing their alcohol to 3.4, well, no, 3.7%. It used to be 4% ABV. Well, a government-enforced shrinkflation, I suppose. Same beer, less alcohol. Less of a PN with shorter trousers, you could say, and maybe he's got bigger boots. Unfortunately, a loss of community spaces, such as pubs. That whole, com well, communities together, well, we'll see more discontent, more bitterness in the British people. It's the respite, you see. It's somewhere to go, and that and what have you. And tell everybody that Brexit is great, even though it's not. Well, is that Richie Sunak's, the inaction man's long-term decision? <laughs> or, as is almost a, well, billionaire wife, has she got shares in the infamous white light inside? Maybe. Just put it out there, you never know with them lot, do you? You tell me, please leave it in the comments down below. Blimey, it'd be quite sad to see 
the loss of the village pub. And you might notice I didn't bring up um, Bob the Binger, Tim Martin, because that is a fake pub chain. That it is. Anyway, you tell me. Please leave it in the comments down below. How do you feel about the village pub just being sideswiped from communities? I think it's quite tragic, to be honest. What else have people got, you know? Well, you're all going to be sitting at home, supping on a lonely beer. Probably. Communities are, well, they're going to be lost. And society will suffer as a result. Blimey. Well, what are you saying, aren't we? You tell me. Please leave in the comments down below. If you support the channel, you do it on Patreon or buy us coffee. And the links are down below in the description that they are. Well, it's a super thanks thing there as well, I think. Yeah. Blimey. Oh, yeah, memberships. <laughs> and if you didn't know already, we are planting trees. We're coming up to the season where we'll be planting trees again in October. I don't know if you can hear it, but it's starting to rain. We've got water for once. Now, we stopped planting earlier this year because obviously we need to add water the trees. So we've got to start planting again. So anyway, we're planting a thousand trees on two hectares of land, if you want to be a part of that. There's a GoFundMe link down below. And I just had a mad and quite wonderful idea. We're going to be offering arbours. <laughs> Bear with us. Yes, widow arbours. So if you've got, say, for instance, maybe you've got a family or something like that. Maybe you've got, you know, you've lost people that you have lost and what have you. We can do a memorial arbour and grow it in, well, we'll plant the trees and grow it into an arbour. Also, if there's two people, a mum and a dad maybe have lost, what we're going to do, we will plant the two trees next to each other and then I'll train them into a spiral. Like a barley twist, maybe. Sounds like a lovely idea. Anyway, if you want to contribute to that, be part of that, there's a GoFundMe link down below in the description. I'm sorry, let's go to the old birds and the bees and uh, all creatures great and small. And so far, we think there's about 400 trees are in the ground so far. Plus, we've got another 500 already propagated waiting to go in. Plus, we've got about another 100 that we've actually got to pick up as well from the nursery. So, anyway, if you want to be part of that, there is a GoFundMe link down below. And uh, yeah, I think it's a nice idea, don't you? I think so. You tell me what you think. Anyway, ta-da.